girl, Copchat TV, back again. 4 0 against Leicester, Austria, Minnows. Boy, you know what? Obviously, we wanted to be in the Champions League. We all did. I'm not going to sit here and lie, but I've quite enjoyed the Europa League because we get to see some squad players who wouldn't really play. And um, yeah, same thing again today. Nine changes from um, the game against City. Only people that kept their um, place was Timiskas and Mo. Yeah, man, good game. I thought first half Graven Birch was good. I thought Harvey, the boy Harvey, was good. Yeah, I like Harvey Elliott, but it's like he's a number ten, and we don't play with a number ten, so he's kind of got to do the centre mid thing. But he's adapting to what I, there's something about him that I like. Obviously, he's real small, so certain times he just gets pushed over, which makes him look a bit soft, but. Technically, definitely a player there, man. Definitely coming along. Jarrell Quantzer as well, getting a few starts this season. I like him. I'm glad we never spent, what was it, 70 million, 80 million they wanted for that Levi Colwell. Not to say he ain't a good player, but can't be spending 70, 80 million on a youngster who's hardly played. And we've got a man like Quantzer in the, in the youth setup. Don't make sense. Um, yeah, Graven Birch, Cody Gakpo. Obviously, man who watched the channel know that I like Cody Gakpo. He scores goals that I like. Ugly goals in the six-yard area. Easy tap-ins, but you have to be there. Um, he didn't get the first one. Diaz got the first one. Listen, Diaz going through what he went through with his mum and dad and still playing through it and scoring bare goals. Bare goals is a slight exaggeration, but scoring a lot, carrying on playing well. Scored a bullet header. I didn't even know he had that in the bag. Joe Gomez with a kind of loopy kind of cross. You know them up and down ones. He's got onto it. Bosh! <laughs> it was like a shot the way he headed it. Still like a cannon header. Why? So, um, yeah, man. Uh, good, good goal. Good first goal. Early goal. Settles down, settles down the crowd. Makes them have to come out. To be fair to them, they didn't try and park the bus at all. They, they, they needed points to, to qualify and, and they tried to get points out of us at Anfield, which was slightly insane, but Respecting them for trying it in their where they're from, they're big in it. They're blatantly big boys, even though I call them minnows. But in Austria, they're big, so they tried their thing. Um, second goal, Salah got in down the right. I'm not gonna guess it. I don't. I don't even remember who played him in. He's done like an outside of the boot kind of cross across the goalie. Gakpo back stick, tapping, love it, love it. And, I like strikers like that. Like I know everyone loves Nunes, Nunes, Nunes. Safe, but just give me a striker that stays in and around the six yard area and kicks the ball in the goal. This is nothing complicated or fashionable about it. It's just nice. Third goal was a penalty. Gakpo looked like he got the ball on the edge of the box. It looked like he tried to pop a one-two, but the pass was a bit astray and he just blew for his own pass he basically passed it to himself like Joe Cole was saying that's the first time you've seen pace from him I ain't gonna lie I've seen pace from him but not like that that was serious pace got to the ball first the goalie got a little hand on it was it a harsh pen maybe but at the same time probably not the way that penalties are getting given them day there and decisions are going against us so it's hard to feel sympathy for anyone Bumi's won the penalty Salah slapped in the penalty for his 199th 199 goals like that's ridiculous that is absolutely ridiculous for how long it's been here and just to show respect my man is 174 goals away from Ian 174 goals away from Ian Rush I, I, I'm trying to work out like that that means the Bears got like 373 goals or something. So what was he just scoring like 30 goals a season for like 12 seasons straight? Or well, I don't understand. Like I saw the, the end, end, end of Ian Rush. I think we would let him go to Newcastle. But 370 something goals is, I don't know if that would ever be broken unless we get like a, a Owen again and he just stays with us from his first debut to the end and just class every season I don't know if anyone can ever I don't even know if that is I don't even know if that's real that's just too stupid I don't even think I've scored that much goals in training so 
respect. But yeah, next goal he scores would be 200 goals for Liverpool, which is mad respect. I remember when we used to have like Torres, Suarez, and then man, they could never reach 100 goals because we always lost a player. So respect, man. Hopefully we get him to sign a new contract and he can push off the Saudi thing for a bit because he can go Saudi anytime. But with his physique and all of that, how he trains, he's professional, don't smoke, don't drink alcohol, he's a good Muslim. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like he'll be able to carry on playing for a good few more seasons. Yeah, he might have lost a yard of pace, maybe, but he ain't even really trying to run past man like that again. He's just scoring goals. That's what he does now. And then the fourth goal, Trent and the Predators. The Predators are cold. I don't even play football no more and I want to buy a pet. I just wear them around the house, just, just kicking the ball at my family with accuracy. You get me? On target, turning off the light and that. Roberto Carlos things, if you know. But, um, yeah. Quance has played the ball into midfield. Trent's taken it. They're not closing him down. Come on, you're not going to close down Trent. Nunes has made a run for the ball. Dragged the defender away. Trent's played a wicked pass into Gakpo. He stepped inside and absolutely slapped it in the far corner. 4-0. To be fair, after it was 3-0, there was a few times where if we would have just given each other the easy pass, every, a few more men would have scored. It probably would have been 7-0. But, you know, once it gets to a certain score, every man wants a goal. Harvey Elliott definitely wanted a goal. Obviously, Nunes is a striker. He wanted one. But, easy win, man. Next, we've qualified to lose and... USG, usual suspect gang, drew nil-nil. So, we've topped the group. We're definitely in the last 16. We're playing. We don't have to play, sorry, the team that drops out of the Champions League. So, we'll just see what happens from here. But I will miss the group stage, car. Without jinxing it, I don't feel like we're going to be back in the Europa League for a little while again. Definitely not why Klopp's here. So, But it's been... It's been good, man. Listen, like, comment and subscribe. 4-0, Liverpool, Lask, Bomsky.